Hello everybody, welcome to my plasma table build. This has been a pretty fun thing. So here's the way I bought everything, all right? So basically bought a bunch of sticks, essentially, of steel. Had it all delivered to the property. I uh, brought it in, just laid it basically out on the floor and uh, started cutting up a lot of it. Uh, some of it I bought extra on accident. Some was a mistake, because it's not perfect. But uh, yeah, so started cutting everything up. I literally did this with a Milwaukee saw. I never videoed much of this stuff in the very beginning. I didn't think it was very interesting. And honestly, it's just welding stuff up. That's all that you're doing. You literally cut it to size and you start welding it. So I didn't, like I said, I didn't get any video of this stuff here. I just took a bunch of photos and put them on Plasma Spider. If you're not on Plasma Spider, you might want to. It's a pretty good uh, website and it's worth pretty much its weight in gold. I got the sides done first. So got those completed and those done up. And I actually kind of made some mistakes. I included uh, making the table a little bit longer on these sides than what it should have been technically, but really it didn't really matter in the end. So. Yeah, so bringing all those in was not fun. So every piece of that thing I had to move in by hand and it was just all manual. Goodness gracious, that was not fun at all. So here, got the sides done, got them laying down. I used the floor as the level which it's not, the floor is not level. I think somebody was drunk and paid with beer on this uh, concrete slab that they poured in my garage. I didn't do it, it came with the property, it's one of those types of things. But yeah, got those uh, laid down and discovered that basically my floor kind of cheated me a little bit, which did and did not pose any problems for me because I figured it out, but it was just one of those where you just had to adjust and readjust and reshoot so anyway so here's the next part ratchet straps are your friend big time and the this one doesn't have the, the photo as it doesn't have all the cross members in the bottom of it but uh definitely ran the tape measure from side to side and i checked everything out and then i flipped the thing over that was it so here i've got flipped over which was possibly the most dangerous thing i've done uh me and a friend got together and flipped this bad boy over but there's a six foot level on it right there so everywhere on it was level and flat 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 uh, and then I added the feet on after that and then really we moved to the waterbed so here's the waterbed this was probably the most uh, daunting task known to man um, 20 foot wells on a 16 gauge which I don't suggest you doing 16 gauge on the bottom of your waterbed if you do don't do it do an eighth inch save yourself the time because 16 gauge just sucks and honestly it feels like it's a little bit weak i do not like it it is gosh i will never do 16 gauge anything hardly ever again i don't even like cutting 16 gauge i like because it, it pays but i don't like really even cutting it so here are just more photos of me stitch welding and fun jazz like that uh getting that in there and this is i think quarter inch Angle iron, three by three, if I'm not mistaken, which I probably am right now, but that's okay. But it, uh, it definitely tried my skills of welding because I'm not the greatest welder in the world, and I don't even claim to be one. Um, but yeah, it was, it was definitely a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So if you think about it, 20 feet, 20 feet, five, 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 five. Yeah, so five, 10, 15, 20, 40, 60 feet of weld. Because in the middle right there, you had to connect two sheets of 5 by 10 together to make that happen. And then uh, the structure right there in the middle of it, it all, I mean, it all sat really, really well. And here I've got the cold rolled uh, half inch right down the, the side of it there, uh, just sitting there. But it looks like it's got a bow to it right there in the middle, which it really doesn't because you take a, um, take a clamp, you can clamp everything down and just kind of pressure and push it into place. And then you can kind of tack her in and... You're good to go. So yeah, and then use this uh, handy dandy uh, DeWalt cutoff saw, which made everything gross. You can see that there. I got some inch and a half, quarter inch wide flat bar. I bought a bundle of this stuff for like 400 bucks or something ridiculous. It was at a scrap steel yard in a huge bundle. And the lady was just like, yeah, just get out of here. I don't really care, whatever. And I bought as much of that jazz as I could because it was quarter inch and it's uh, pretty stout whenever you go to slap a three quarter inch piece of uh, plate steel on it. Yeah, so got the, uh, I started putting them in here and I just started to start putting it on. I'm not gonna lie, I had a leak, uh, a couple of water leaks in it. Nothing too epic in the very beginning 
Uh, honestly, I just went back in and welded in a little bit more, threw some more weld on it, and just kind of fixed it. And then, uh, honestly, I still kind of a few spots of it that I've never had to redo again, and it's now running almost a year and a half. No, year strong, roughly. And, yeah, it works. So thank you all for listening to my voiceover. I appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. I'd, I'd, like I said, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you all for your time. Appreciate you.